Hello and welcome from the Bristly Stranger. We are having a look at something new today. Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. This was very generously given to me by one of our Bristly subscribers. Massive thank you for that. I've had a little bit of a go and the learning curve is quite steep. I'm going to try and show you the bits I've learned and maybe we'll work out some more. It is very, very difficult. We are basically taking a bunch of primates, trying to engage their brains, fire their neurons, and evolve into learning new useful aspects. This is a survival game, so we will need to do the normal survival stuff, eating, drinking, probably need shelter to sleep as well, probably getting hot or cold would be a problem. There are a few different things to think of. So we are starting our new species, Homo bristlicus. We're playing in first time mode, like I say, it is pretty tricky. It says play with the controller, unfortunately my left shoulder button has been broken on my controller, so we're playing mouse and keyboard, which is a little bit fiddly, but it's kind of my preferred way of playing. Our settlement is the Hidden Waterfall Oasis, that is kind of one of the easier places to start, I assume. I put it on random, but it looks like we have got male as our gender. Our clan is medium, probably about six-ish individuals. Species unknown. So we get our first look at the world. And it is a beautiful world. The plants, the kind of rocks, everything could be a tool, food, or something to use. Lots of flora and fauna about. Obviously, some of it is going to be dangerous. Lucky escape for that fella. Hopefully, we avoid the predators in much the same way. They are vast in their number. It is a everything eat everything world out there, so nothing is safe. Absolutely beautiful. So we're on volume one, we're at the very early stages of mankind's development. Got a little cutscene here. First objective, find a hiding spot. So we are a little babby monkey. We have to use our intelligence, that's fine. Obviously we are hyper scared by everything at the moment. Uh, if we look around though, we have got some points of interest. We can focus in. Yeah, there's a hiding spot. Uh, how far away is that? In fact, is there any others closer by? Uh, in fact, this one here, that does seem closer. Okay, uh, can we go towards that one? The world is a scary place, especially when you are scared. Uh, we've got the hiding spot, no, not quite there yet. Massive trees, 
which can climb up them, but obviously we are looking for a hiding spot. I think, yes, this is it. Some gnarled roots we're going to hide. So we switch to one of our other clan members. We have got our first clan objective, find the lost child. So if we hit E again, we can see that there are lots of things going on in here. A little tutorial about running and jumping there. We'll get to that. Uh, we have got a point of interest here, this diamond. If we focus in on it, it tells us this is our clan settlement. If we press E, we can memorize this location. We've got a little bonus to our intelligence there. The more of these things we investigate, the more intelligence we'll gain. But, first things first, we have to look for our little baby. Uh, we can hear him. Uh, somehow. There we go. Uh, so, behind us we can hear our clan mates. Can we get down here? Still can't seem to see any sounds coming from the monkey. Can we use our senses up here? Ah! Looks like he is down there. Okay. Uh, well, we will climb our way down. Break any limbs. So that is entirely possible. Uh, we can see there our green bar is diminishing. We're using our stamina up. Uh, climbing will obviously use some... Where are you? Lost him again. Uh, ah, there we go. That's why. Big rock in the way. Is this the little hidey spot? Yes. Ah, so we are comfortable now. Right click. Get our timing right. We can persuade the little fella to come out. There we go. Hey. Looks like he's safe. Tough little arm bray. So now we have got to get back. Obviously we remembered where our clan was. So it's quite easy to find our way back. We are growing some neurons because we did some communicating. If we go into intelligence mode, we can see we've got lots of bits about. Now, as you can see, they're all dark and scary looking. Let's move a bit closer. That's because we don't know what it is. So fear is surrounding that object at the moment. Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces. I, do you know what, I'm not going to investigate too many things right now. What we're going to do, we're going to make our way back. So, uh, can we go up this branch here? Uh, no, it seems. Not that way, anyway. Uh, in fact, look, there's an easier place to get up. Um, climb up. Nice looking red berries or something here. Uh, I don't know what that is. We're going to take it with us, though. Whoa! Yeah, he fell off. Much easier on a controller, I found, but as soon as I needed that mouse button, or mouse button, the left button, I couldn't do anything. So we're going to have to carry on on mouse and keyboard. That's fine, though. As long as we get around here quick, we're not going to run out of stamina. Still got our little red leaf. I think it's leaves, not berries. That is fine. We have made it back though. And our little fella has got a little playmate. Hmm. 
So the mums are pleased to have their babies out back, but obviously the other elder is gone. Got to maybe find out what happened to them. So yes, we have a new objective, build a sleeping spot. So uh, if we come over here, got lots of help now. We can see we've got life expectancy. That is the brown circle underneath Greenmont. Greenmont's stamina. We had a look at all of that nonsense. We will skip by this. If we come over here and uh, go into intelligence mode, we can see things here. We don't really know what it is still. Uh, in fact, we've got something in our hands. So let's just drop that on the floor just there. So if we come over to here, we can lie down. It's a sleeping spot, so we've got to make one of these. Uh, looks like it's made out of frondy leaves. So we've got some of them about. If we grab one, obviously in intellect mode, we still don't know what it is. But now we've got a piece in our hand, we can inspect it. We hold it down long enough, he should work out what it is. It's a new tool. It's a type of grass, so we can put this over here, uh, drop it on the floor, there we go. So we get a little tooltip, we can make stockpiles of things. So I'm going to grab some leaves, maybe if we grab enough we can make ourselves a bed. I don't really know. There we go. Um, construction possibilities so all right we'll stockpile some more there's a load there is that all of that gone possibly there we go uh, we have got some other bits and pieces around though let's just put one more on there, uh, on there. Uh, so we can actually start construction so we needed four if we hold it down we have to build it i think we are Flattening the area down. Uh, I'm gonna sleep on bumpy ground, of course. There go! And excellent! We have built ourselves another sleeping area. So we've got three now. It's under this rock, so it is nice and sheltered. Uh, we did have that leaf down there somewhere. Uh, just there. We'll pick it up. Let's have a look at that. So, it was something weird, it's like red leaves, it's a new food, Kayat. Uh, let's have a munch on it. Uh, oh, that seems to give us resistance to cold and resistance to broken bones, lovely. Uh, well, we've got some lovely red berries here as well, let's grab them. Now we do need to inspect them before we can do anything with them though. And it is more food, lovely berries. Tammy berries. Okay, let's gobble those up. Obviously everyone will see us doing this and they now know these berries are good to eat. Uh, if we have oh, new things that we are digesting which will make our species stronger. Uh, if we're going to intelligence mode, we have got lots and lots of things, some of which we don't know, some of which we do. Uh, now we have discovered things like these frondy plants, uh, not those frondy plants, uh, these frondy plants, they're the grass, so we can look at them. We know it can be used for building, uh, it can also be used for something else but we don't know what that is yet. I'm going to go around, we need to build up our intelligence, so I'm going to investigate every single one of these, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we have gone around the camp, we have identified quite a few things. Obviously there are still some that are question marks at the minute. Like, for instance, uh, this fella just here. We can grab some of this, we can have a little investigate, and yeah, something new, new food. So this is horsetail. If we eat this, the rest of our clan will know it's good to eat. 
There we go. Seems to be good for our bones. Everybody's having a good old munch on that. We have also got Here, yes. Uh, some stones. Well, that's what it seems to be. If we grab one, we need to investigate. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. There we go. Yes, it's a stone. It's a tool. It's a granite rock. Okay. Uh, maybe we can do something with that. Leave it on the floor for now. Uh, we've also got obviously some kind of tree here. Uh, if we investigate that. Yes, okay. Yeah. Dead branch. Might be useful. We will leave that just here as well. Uh, I think. Now we've discovered those, they obviously fill in. Uh, we've still got a question mark. Just here. Uh, so, in fact, one thing that we do need to do, uh, we can scoop up some water and inspect it. So, yes, another food, fresh water. So, if we drink that, everyone will know we can drink here. We need to eat, sleep, and drink every 24 hours. So, I'm going to fill up on some of that just to make sure we're okay. This is obviously giving us some more neuron power there. Uh, so, this spot over here uh, smells funny. What is it? Uh, can we highlight it at all? Pick it? Uh, okay, we can't pick it. We can investigate though. It's a gathering spot, a fishing spot. Um, I'm going to assume that we can't fish with our hands though, because we didn't seem to be able to get anything. No, scoop water, that's about it. Uh, we've got lots of berries here though, let's grab some over here. Have a bit of a norm. Now we have got a few bits and pieces under our belt. I think we can fire up some neurons, which may unlock some extra action. To do that though, we've got to go and have a lie down. So we can drop our kid off here, we can have a sleep, or we can go to the evolution menu. So on the evolution menu, we have got four different things. We have got senses, we have got uh, intelligence, we have got communication, and we have got moving about. So we can click on this one, we can now switch hands. So this will allow us to manipulate more things, carry two things as well. But this also opens up more possibilities. So now we can swap hands, we'll maybe be able to do more things. So I've just realised there was one extra thing over here, which is obviously evil. Let's have an investigate to see what it is. Uh, another rock. It's not quite the same as the other one, though. It's a new tool. It is obsidian. Okay, so if we switch hands, we can craft something. It says alter now. I don't think we can break rock with our hand. Uh, if we get a stick, though, can we bash the rock with the stick? seems to be a thing. It is getting dark now. Uh, never mind. Let's switch hands again. Yeah, there we go. So we've now got a stone in our primary hand and we can hit it. Uh, we have to use the right strength though. Uh, yes, that has snapped some of the branches off. Uh, if we put our stone down a minute, um, we can alter it further. Now, obviously, I have played this before, so I know that we can do stripping. Uh, to do that, we pull this. We have now got a stick. So this is a new item. Uh, if we switch it to our primary hand, we can even investigate it. There we go. It's a new tool. 
it is a stick. So it's not just a dead branch. Now, I think, uh, okay, we've got more neuron energy. That's because children are nearby. So there's one over here, one over there. That's great. Uh, but, but what's our current objective? Form a couple. Okay, uh, so how do we do that? Maybe give them some food. Well, can we do anything with this stick? Couldn't seem to do anything before. And now we've got a sharp stick. Uh, we can poke it. Uh, no good then. Seem to have to release it at the right moment. Good, yeah. There's night fishing. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get one eventually. Two hours later. Definitely fish in them waters. We got one! Uh, so, where are we? Uh, we have got something on the end of it. Um, I think we need to switch hands though and do our stripping thing to get it. Uh, how do we do that? Like this? A bit more than that. There we go, we got it. Um, switch it back. Uh, that's the stick, okay. Uh, inspect it. What have we found? It's like some kind of lobster thing. Uh, new food, whatever it is, and uh, it's crayfish. Okay, we're gonna eat that crayfish. Oh, it's upset our tummy. Um, okay, maybe we won't eat that. Let's drop it on the floor just there. Uh, we will go and have a little sleep because, you know, this upset stomach seems to be doing us no good and we're a bit cold. Uh, lie down. And I think it's 10 o'clock, so we will have a nice sleep until morning. So we even have dreams just at the start of the sleep period there. The stomachache kind of vastly disappeared. Uh, yeah, we did all right on food, sleep and water. Uh, we could perhaps even... Got another male there. Uh, we need a female to talk to though. Okay, couple with Boo. You're already taken. Maybe I can find another one. Maybe we need to get some kind of way of cooking that great fish. No good. Let's have a look at the other females. Uh, who have we got here? A single female Loji. Okay. Um, say follow me to her. Let's, uh, we've got an empty hand, so can we find a nice bit of fruit there? Uh, come over here, Loji, where are you? There, there we go. Uh, so, can we now... <laughs> it feels a bit wrong. Uh, there she is, we can give her the fruit. There we go, she does seem to like that. Um, let's tell her to wait here. Can we room at all? This seems to be an option at the moment. Back on the evolution menu, we've got another one here, so that is communication that we have open. So we can call clan members together by holding it down. That sounds good. We've also got small openings, we've got a thing here, but this only happens with babies. Okay. Uh, we have got another thing here though, dexterity is open up. We do need to connect that neuron up. And that has given us uh, the ability to switch items from one hand to another. We kind of already have that. But that has fired open some more. Again, we've got another one here. Uh, can we link that up? Yes, yes we can. Handling, we can tap C to drop it while moving. Excellent. Uh, open up another one. Alright, maybe we need to do a little bit more 
crafting, we certainly need to do more smelling and things like that. So we can identify things by smell. By different clan members. There we go, we've got some more stuff in there as well. Uh, some different smell, berries, can we identify that? Yes. Do you have a thing up there? Is it still there? Uh, it seems to smell it. Maybe we'll have to climb up. It does look like maybe a beehive or something. Uh, do we want to go and poke it? So we still have the objective form a couple. What we're going to have to do is groom Loji. So we have to hold it down. And We have to wait for the time sensitiveness. She's not. There we go, we got one. Uh, no, it didn't work that time. There we go, we got another one, excellent. Ah, oh, failed again. I'm not the best uh, mate, obviously I, I'm not very good at picking the fleas off. There we go, I think that is enough though. Oh no, I've ruined it, I've ruined it. There we go. So we have made a couple. So identify the jungle's hidden waterfall oasis, that is where we are. Um, we are now in a couple though, we can actually have a baby. Obviously, we need to go over to the sleeping part and choose the mate option for that. I think what we're going to do though, before we do anything else, we're going to try and make something with our stones. Now, I have been attempting this, but we don't want to stick, we want the stones. So we'll get rid of that, we've got some here, I'll drop that away. Grab that. Actually, switch that there. That's what we want. No, not you. The stone. The stone. Yeah, there we go. So we've got two rocks now. We can alter them. Now, again, it's a time sensitive. We have to listen out for the cues. Ah, we broke it instantly. I think we've got about four more rocks left. So we could try and do it again there we go, alter these, there might be one more so we've got to get it just right there we go, one more it does take a while, normally it's about four or five Again. That's six. Seven. Ah, we have discovered a new thing. So uh, let's switch hands and inspect it. What have we made? And here's a new tool. So it is a granite grinder. So we can obviously mash things down with that. Uh, maybe berries or different things. Maybe that changes the different properties. In fact, uh, let's get rid of this stone for now. If we can find some berries, because there were some about... Uh, what have I eaten all the berries? In fact, what we do, let's go to this. Uh, there are some berries over there. Yes, there they are. Okay, so we will bash our way over here, we'll grab some berries, not those, they don't look particularly right, uh, those ones, yeah, like the look of that. Uh, if we come over here, let the rest of our plan do it, uh, we can eat, if we switch hands, can we alter? Oh, we've just mashed them for nothing. So yes, everything can be altered. We did have some obsidian here as well. 
But do you know what? I think this is a fairly good place to leave it for now. We have discovered a few tools. In fact, if we do obsidian, it might be sharp. We could even sharpen our stick. That sounds pretty cool. But like I say, I think we are going to leave it here for today. We might come and have another look at this. Let me know in the comments what you think. I've certainly enjoyed this quick look at it. I'm certainly going to be bashing on with some more. Let me know if you do want to see more in the future though. But for now, I think we will leave our primate clan to it. Can't believe I kept calling them monkeys. They are certainly apes. If you have enjoyed the video, you know what to do to show your love. All your support greatly appreciated. But for now, I've been the Bristly Stranger. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time.